welcome everybody to this episode of Let's Play, episode number 40. Um, joining us this week as usual, Sorg. How you doing this week, Sorg? Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, joining us uh, once again is Riz. Hi. And somebody who was lost to the darkness last week, Chachi I is back. Power. <laughs> you, and he's I've using it, power. everything in front of him that requires Chucky went power right tear. now. He, yes, uh, I do. I have lights, I have computer, I have TV. Everything that I usually sit in front of requires power, and I was without it. So I went to bed. Those space Nazis <laughs> can't take your freedom. I, uh, no, seriously, I, I when I lost power <laughs> and realized it wasn't coming back anytime soon, I uh, ate dinner and went straight to bed. I was in bed by nine o'clock. Wow, that's that's a sad night. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I want to know something from you guys, mm -hmm. and that is, yes, what have pants. you been playing this week? Sorg, what have you been playing? Um, I had some playtime last week. I, uh, the usual gamut of uh, Assassin's Creed <clears throat> Two and uh, uh, the new maps uh, for Black Ops Two. Uh, also, uh, threw in the, uh, uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and, uh, again, realized how much I am humbled, uh, when I go play online. Uh, Ooh. I even have it saying people on my level, and they just destroy me. Uh, yeah. so I apparently, I, I didn't think I was that bad at fighting games, but apparently I am. Uh, and also, it, it was one of those where it was like, you know, it was set on, like, I just wanted to go play arcade game, and it was set on, so it <laughs> always Sorry. bump in a new challenger. Which is really New challenger is ready. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever like? I don't know if you got experience with Street Fighter games. I hated that. Yeah. Did, if you turn that on, it's impossible to do anything else. I you can turn hated it off. that. You can turn you can turn it off, but I think it's just completely non-functional. If, if because you're just like, oh, I start loading the game and I'll start fighting halfway through this game and I'm doing good. New challenger comes. You know, <laughs> it, it's okay every once in a while, but I think there's like, like at least let us finish the actual game, mm -hmm. actual match that we have. Yeah, yeah. I, I it just I think there's just too many people involved, you know. Yeah. I had the same problem. I actually had the same problem on the Street Fighter Four, uh, the second one they put out uh, on the on the on the iPhone that would do that. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to play. How do I turn this off? And I couldn't figure it out on the iPhone. I eventually I did figure it out, but and also let's not let's be fair here. The guy who says new challenger is ready. Yeah. Is Fucking annoying! <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> They're like, ready, oh, so what I'm happened? Why is, why is everything on my screen stopped? Yeah, it, it's pretty Fight. pretty rough, pretty rough. Uh, but hey, other than that, um, yeah, I don't think I've been even playing much on my phone or anything like that. Uh, so I had a pretty good session like mid last week, and that was it. Uh, back to you, Bobby. <laughs> um, I played this week. Um, I downloaded Just Cause Two on Xbox Live. Uh, played that a little bit. Okay. Um, I played Avengers Alliance, of course, uh, mm -hmm. trying to get um, Vision. Mm -hmm. um, nowhere near yet, and there's like eight days left. Um, I played. Finally, my Simpsons Tapped Out works again. I, I had to down, re-download the game and reinstall it, and now it works. So that's good. Um, and I played my PS3's update menu. <laughs> Because <laughs> every time I turn on the console, it updates. I wanted to go into the PlayStation Store. It tells me I have an update. That's horrible. I if the console updates, restarts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go back into the PlayStation Store. What does it tell me? The PlayStation Store has an update. <laughs> so I install the update. The console restarts. I go back in the PlayStation Store. There's nothing new that I want to download. Mm -hmm. So I put in Django and Chain and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> as you like, should. Screw you, PlayStation. I'm using you as a Blu-ray player. Because <laughs> isn't that um, what it is now? Yeah, pretty much. That, that's what I bought it for. It's like a $500 Blu-ray uh, Yeah, exactly. Um, but I, I, I do have to start... Uh, back up into uh, Nino Cooney, I took the uh, Bioshock break, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now I'm back. I'm gonna try to finish that, but it's it's a long game, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish it or not. We'll see. But yeah, that's about all I've been playing this week. Riz, what'd you play? Bobby. <laughs> I know I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. I cannot stop playing 
Marvel Avengers one. <laughs> <laughs> I got him back into it. You, you are a horrible person. Now, yeah, but now I'll just think when you like send me ISO ISO eight, then it's good. I sent you a, two of them. I know. I needed two last night. I had eighteen. I have no I idea what you're talking about. Anyways, other <laughs> than that, um, I actually finished Injustice. Uh, wow! Like, I think it was Tuesday, uh, Tuesday after the show. Mm-hmm. I did finally beat um, the evil Superman. Mm-hmm. It's quite enjoyable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. The story. I mean, it, it's good for a story. Mm-hmm. And that's a fighting game we're talking about. We're getting in, 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 that. That it's weird. Is it? Like, is it one of those situations where you have to go through and beat like it with every character to get all the different stories? No. No. Well. No, well wow. Well, have you did you play the um, Mortal Kombat game for the Xbox yet? No, or not yet, not yet. Any of the? Well, it, the story goes through the main and, characters. Yeah, and you play as different characters as yeah, you progress. Yeah, you play in the story. as Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, yeah. Wonder Woman. Uh, <clears throat> I actually Star like War. that. <laughs> Lex Luthor, Joker, mm-hmm. and. All those culminate into you being or going up against a Superman. Okay. There's there's no incestuous overtones like in uh, Soul Calibur no. Five, is there? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, that story was weird. Well, no, no. That was a weird storyline. <laughs> well, no, no. It, it, but it is very. It's a very weird story, but it does pre. It does pretty well explaining itself, if that makes any sense. It's it's a good story, and it's it's from a fighting game. That's that's one of the things I can't really grasp my head around because it's actually that good, mm-hmm. and everything around it is good too. Nice. But also, I too have been playing the uh, Call of Duty map packs and. We're gonna get that in the light. We're gonna get that later. Um, yes, we are. And also, I've been bored lately. <laughs> <laughs> There's because that's the only reason why I I play Minecraft. Hmm. It's just I, I'm bored. I don't even build stuff. I just you know dig adult Legos. Pretty much <laughs> until I hit like the bottom and then burn alive. Or get shot by arrows with a skeleton. Mm. Or a creeper blows me up. Cool. Or, or a zombie. Zombies. All right. Uh, Chachi, what did you play this week? Um, well, I played the Injustice demo last week. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't like it. Oh. Well, it, it, and it's because I don't, I'm not a big fighting game type person. Yeah. Um, they're not. They're not my thing, and I don't see a need for an entire fighting game based on DC comic book characters. Um, Marvel, maybe um, their own game as dark as this one. As I was talking to Sorg about, um, I think if they did a Marvel game that was as dark as this one, it would be awesome. Yes. Um, but I mean, I, I got to be. I got to play as Batman, which was cool. Um, I, I like the environment uh, usage. Uh, I kicked Wonder Woman off of a helicopter a few times. Yeah, um, awesome. I hit Doomsday with a dumpster. Yeah, that surprised Doomsday. me the first time it happened. Um, so I mean, yeah, it, it was it was fun in that regard. But as far as the actual game itself, it wasn't that great, in my opinion. You're not a big uh, uh, Mortal Kombat fan, are you? No, that's, that's probably it. No, I, I don't. I don't do fighting games. They're not. They're not fun. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I played the uh, the map packs, which I guess we'll talk about later because we didn't talk about it last week. Um, I played uh, 100 Rooms Escape on my phone, which is uh, a puzzle game where you have to uh, solve the puzzle in a room before the elevator opens. That's a tough game. Yeah, it's not it's not a weak game. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it was a busy week, so I didn't really have time to. Too much. Cool. All right. All right. Well, um. Oh, from the chat room. 
Oh, yes. From the chat room, uh, (laughs) we do have, oh, who was this? Uh, Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, We got Tom Bob, it says, um, (laughs) maybe maybe Marvel Heroes, Lego Marvel Heroes will be dark. Um, Tom Bob, it says he was playing Borderlands 2, Bioshock, and Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, that's what I got. And also, uh, they love Festivus in the chat room. Festivus for the Festivus rest. Festivus for the rest. I guess that was pre-show, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, we talked about Festivus earlier. Um, all right. Um, now, you guys have played the Call of Duty maps, correct? Yes. Yes. Your mission is to convince me to buy them because I haven't played them yet, and I'm not sure I want to buy them or not. <gasps> oh, my God. They're so awesome. You should buy them because we're all playing them. Done. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. Bobby, yes. That's it. Um, you know what? Yeah. Um, this map pack is better than the last map pack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the room, or the, the maps in the game, uh, there's four of them. Uh, Magma Studio, um, Encore, and... Vertigo. Oh, Vertigo, yes. Um, they're all... Weird maps. They're also and, different. And by weird, I mean they're awesome maps. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. They're they're awesome maps, but uh, you go into them expecting something else, and you get something completely different. Like on paper, these are small maps. Ooh, really? they're very small maps. In in playing them, no, mm. they don't play small. Oh wow! No, um, they, they all have a big map feel to them, um, all based on the layout. Uh, and on top of it, they take you places that this game hasn't gone yet. Um, Encore is in England. Mm-hmm. Um, Magma is in Japan, and um, I Isn't think uh, Vertigo, is, Vertigo in is in China. Like- India or some tall... Oh, uh, no, it's building. in Dubai. You're right. Dubai, yeah. And, wow, um, that's a total guess, too. Yeah, like uh, no, you're right. It's in Dubai. And um, then uh, the studio is in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, the game's taking you new places. And uh, just the detail that went into these maps is amazing in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, there's so many uh, parts to... The, the studio map alone that you're running around and you go from Jaws to Jurassic Park to a Western to, uh, to sci-fi like a giant. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I'm going to so, check them out. Yeah, I mean, it, it's but, definitely, uh, for the price and the enjoyment of them, it's definitely worth doing. You didn't, you didn't find the studio a bit it's familiar, though? Yeah, why should I have? It's it, it's the same. It, I mean, it's still fun. It's still a great map, but it's firing range. Which game See, is that from? Because I haven't um, played. I think that was the first Black Ops. That was the first Black Ops. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't play the first Black Ops. Yeah, I got into you know, with and, the yeah. giant uh, tower in the middle where no. you climb up that thing. No. no, I, I got in at Modern Warfare. Many grenades were thrown. Um, yes, I have not played the zombies. I have not played. I don't I think I got a chance to play Magma when in my playthrough. Um, but there was a lot of that I liked about, especially like the stage encore. Um, everything had what I liked that makes me love like Carrier and uh, Hijack. Mm-hmm. Uh, the boat levels, you know, mm-hmm. they're confined enough. You know, um, there's enough like corners there's enough like where the heck did that come from uh that's not annoying um you know i think it's uh i think it's a nice mix it's a really nice mix so far of what yeah there's uh it. there's definitely the uh kill box element in all of those yes levels. yes and and by that what i mean is uh they may be huge levels but there are the spots in the level that everyone gravitates to yes and it's just a giant bloodbath Mm-hmm. Like in, in studio, there's so many back paths and uh, hallways and, and elements, not studio, encore, uh, because you're going around a concert venue. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you go through concessions, you go through the bathroom, you go through the backstage area. One of those cool but, things. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
No. Oh, is, is that that in that that kind? Of, I think that's the element I like too. Because in uh, Modern Warfare Three, there was that one that was like the mall, and it felt like like I'm going through a mall. You know, it, mm-hmm. it felt like like I'm going through something that was not meant for me to be running around with a gun. You yeah. know, and mm-hmm. I think that's where where I like studio and uh, yeah, both both studio and encore. I think that's the like out of place urban warfare element. You know, kind of like Terminal in uh, Modern Warfare Two. Yeah. 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 But I mean, even though there's all those elements to these levels, in in encore, you're gonna end up in front of the stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that's where everyone is, and if you want points and you want kills, you got to go there. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're lucky, you might pick off a couple people through the hallways going there, but in the end, it's gonna be in front of the stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a little advice to people who haven't played the maps yet. If you're playing magma, yeah, stay mag- the mag- fuck out of the lava. Yes, <laughs> that's exa- well. Well, well, they they trick you when there's like there's dried up lava on top of a car or ne- and behind a car. I think it was in like a tunnel or something. Then I I saw that and I'm like I'm gonna walk up this, not knowing what was that there's nothing there and there's just lava on the bottom. And I died. Riz, by Riz life, life lesson. Lava is hot. Lava is hot. I thought you learned that from Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. I, I, learned, Minecraft. I learned that from a lot of things. <laughs> but also, um, another thing that I need to mention is um, the vertigo. There's trick point. There's, like, trick spots. Mm-hmm. So you can you can walk towards a thing. You can walk towards them, and then all of a sudden, you're not walking on anything, and you're falling through the air. Yeah. The first time, it's guaranteed, the first time you play Vertigo, you're going to fall off the building. Yes. Yep. 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 100%. Yes. Your ass is going down no matter what. Just like the Sounds first like time fun. you play Magma, you're going to, you're falling, or you're going to. falling in lava. lava. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hit the lava. That's all there is to it. I mean. Mm-hmm. And that's the fun of it too. It's like, yeah. so I mean, I, I, I unlike the failure of the first map pack, um, <laughs> this is awesome. Hmm? So the question is, Bobby, have we convinced you to join us? I join think I think I will buy the map packs. Excellent. I think I'm going Yay. to. I have to get my Microsoft points, but I, uh, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it. So um, funny funny note lava. about lava. Um, when I was when I was a kid in high school, I actually asked my chemistry teacher, "Do we get acid from lava?" <laughs> I was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a valid point. All right. Well, moving on. Okay, now now the next segment, I'm going to make you th- aware of things. The idiot um, that I am. <laughs> Things um, you should be made aware of. All right, our first thing that you should be aware of is um, BuzzFeed posted a post today, or I don't know if it was today, but it was recently. Um, it was 34 levels you should play before you die. I know, Chachi, we're doing the um, 34, or er, 1,001 uh, games you should play before you die. Yeah. Um, well, the BuzzFeed has just levels that you should play. Or bosses or in, instant instance, instances in games. Um, like the first one is of course the level one one on Super Mario Brothers. I mean, I think we've all played that. Um, a lot of Legend of Zelda. Did, I, did um, I just see a Water Temple on there? Yep. Yeah, Water Temple is one of them. Uh, the Library and Golden Eye. <laughs> Turbo Tunnel from Battle Toads. Yes, which is impossible. The final <laughs> level of Ninja Turtles. I only get there with the Game Genie. Uh, the first Colossus in Shadow of Colossus is one of them, which I, I recommend highly. Mm-hmm. Um, Uncharted yeah, 2, you should play just The that Train. Game. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff on here that I have not played yet mm-hmm. that I might look into playing because of this article. I love Street... Wait, 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 wait. Street, Streets of Rage 2, first stage wait. as Skate. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Go back up. Is, is, is Rainbow Road... Is yes, in Rainbow, order Road. Of, Rainbow Road. On the SNES. In order of how how when you should play these, like like in like Mario is top notch level one. One is the top notch game you should play before you die. Because if that's so, Rainbow Road should be a lot higher. 
<laughs> I have a feeling this is in or no is particular just in, like, order. Rain, I, I'm sure this is no just, particular order. <laughs> Rain, yeah, Rain, yeah. Rainbow Road is awesome. Uh, Grand Theft Auto's uh, three leaf, or Grand Theft Auto Four's three leaf clover missions. One of them, which is a really Gu- fun uh, level on Grand Theft Auto. Guitar Hero, Bark at the Moon on Expert. Yeah. <laughs> no Psycho way. Manus for uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, do you really want to play Freebird? Do you I did really on Expert. It was <laughs> fucking hard. Everybody wants Freebird. Freebird. Seriously, in the original Guitar Hero, maybe the second one, they ask you like three times if you really want to play it. Yeah. If you ever get that <laughs> far. Do you really want to play this? Yes. I mean, honestly, is, do you want to play this? It is apparently the full version in Guitar Hero, so wow. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So our, our next thing uh, we're going to make you aware of, um, there's a new uh, game coming out. Um, I think it's for PC. I'm not sure if it's coming to consoles or not. Um, there is a video game out billing itself as the scariest video game to come out. Um, it's called Outlast. Okay. Um, IGN.com had, had four or five people play this game and pitch black. And they posted a video on their site, which is, is going to be in the notes uh, if you want to see it. Um, it is hilarious. People just getting scared over this game. <laughs> They'll go down the hall and it, it'll, something will make a noise. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, no, 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 no. So that it's really funny. So it looks like it's very like okay, it's first person. It looks like it's very uh like paranormal activity ish. Kind of, uh, I think it, could, it looks more like slender. Yeah, I mean not yeah. not like as not, like, not like limited as slender, yeah. but um But it, it's still like you can't do anything when this happens. Yeah. When yeah. you're well, when there you, are no you're weapons doomed. in the game. Yeah. You just run away from the creature. It's slender, attack, are you? Um, it's it's a, about a reporter that takes place in an insane asylum. <laughs> here's the here's where they had the people in like night vision like playing the game apparently. Yeah. So that's uh, all right, all right. It, 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 it it's, it's 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 very enjoyable. <laughs> Bobby. Yes. You're going to do this for us. What? You're you're going to play game? this game. I don't want to play it. Total darkness. <laughs> I'm afraid. Dude, I get, I, you know, just playing like Half-Life 2 in the dark gets at me sometimes. Yeah. Where's the boss? I mean, what's like, that? Uh, Any of the Dead Space games, too. Or Ugh. Doom, Quake. I mean, I used to play those, like, you know, at night in my room, you know. that That's then been... Then you would probably shit your bed when you right. see the... Uh, Bioshock the Infinite, the, the Boys of Silence level. Boys I can't play that again. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> that, that would scare me. Bioshock in the middle of the night. Oh, the time when I freaked yeah. out with Metal Gear Solid 2 when it started talking to me at 3 in the morning. That was you know, one of the I mean, levels you gets... should play. Psycho Mantis. Oh, no, that, 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 was, that was 2 when they started talking to me. But yeah, Psycho Mantis on 1 was pretty cool. Too. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So. I know. Okay. All right. Um, Our next thing um, is... Wait, hold on. Thing. guy said shit your Wait. bed. What? 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 What's the game for? Um, I think it's PC. I think. I don't know. I have to do a little more research. It's not, I don't think the game's ready yet, though. Because I'll, I'll play the shit out of it. That's another thing. I might if if it's for PC, I won't be able to play it. Oh, uh, Earthworm Jim is on this. Is my too. my PC sucks. <laughs> I What's next, Bobby? Um, you've heard of the font Comic Sans, correct? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm fully aware of scourge, it. The scourge of the font world Wing, on the internet. Wing things um, better. <laughs> Um, some ingenious people, I think, at uh, NeoGAF and maybe Reddit, um, they've gone together and made remade various um, game Game Boy co- covers and um, just video game covers. Um, it's really funny because they use the Comic Sans font, and they only use clip art to go with it. Oh man, that's amazing! Clip art amazing. that they find around the internet to recreate these covers. Um, there's Pokemon Blue for Game Boy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, which is basically a turtle with just like guns on it. Um, there are there's Team Fortress Two with just a bunch of random clip art. <laughs> um, there's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with just a sailboat and a guy sitting in it with a lion's head on it. <laughs> so so it's um, Life of Pi. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, only only substitute lion for tiger. It's um, the Deuce, the Deuce Ex Machina one actually looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. That was like the best, well-made, most well-made one. My, my favorite 
<laughs> this is the next one down. The, the Mass, Mass Effect, Effect one. Kitty head on it. <laughs> <laughs> it has a giant tiger head instead of an alien. It has a giant tiger head. No, that's actually the main villain person. Mm. Oh, okay. And then there's the walk for the Walking Dead one. So there's like there's the there's the original cover. But then we get down here. <laughs> And uh, Tiger, Tiger Woods. The Woods is with Tiger Woods. Walking Dead. Okay, uh, that, that's 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 fine. Um, and a giant smiley face that's winking at me with a yeah. mullet. <laughs> this is like the MS Paint version of yeah. of, of all this stuff. So that, random that, uh, we found that over at Kotaku. Um, mm-hmm. You could you could find that on there. Um, it's really funny. And it's that time again. That time. Time to reenact a comic strip, Bobby. Tell me a story. All right, this week's strip comes from another web video, another video web comic, and it is a Bioshock Infinite one. Surprise! Yay. Okay, do you want to be the dude or the girl? I'll be the dude. All right, I'll be the girl. Okay. Oh, Use Booker, your you're hurt. Voice. Let me find something to patch you up. No, I can take care of myself. You can find all kinds of stuff if you take the time to look. Uh-oh, my things. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, who would throw away this perfectly fine piece of cake? Want some? And in the last panel, the cake has a Band-Aid on it and a cigarette butt. And, <laughs> and uh, Elizabeth's just looking at him like, what? <laughs> so, all right, and see. And see. <laughs> all right, uh, moving on to some news. Mm. Um, Chachi, I believe you have our next story. Do I? It's uh, about the cost of Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. I gotta bring it up. I what guess. is the deal with this? Come on, Chachi, quit playing video games while you're playing on on the podcast. Well, no, I, I didn't let you know when you're doing this. I'm talking about the cost of Call of Duty last week. Preparations. But you, your thing went out. Your power. I know. Um, oh, it's the Nazis' fault. So, 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 what was the gist of the of the article while you were it? Basically, up? Um, verse three or three verse uh, broke down the co- how much it would cost to have one hour of actual Call of Duty based war. Mm hmm. Um, and it broke down to being around what they made so far on the game, um, just the $60 purchase price. Mm-hmm. And they, they actually went out and they got real numbers um, to base all the prices and stuff off of using the lowest level weapons and the lowest level score streaks and everything. Um, we, have co- we have killed <laughs> more people in Call of Duty than... Um, will be on the earth for the next thousand years or something like that. Oh, no. 106 plus billion plus deaths. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so, I mean, in an hour, we're killing more people than are on the earth. Wow. So, I, I mean, it, it's an interesting video. Uh, I don't remember the details because it's from last week. But it, it's interesting, and it's on the website. So you can go over to insertcointobegin.com and give it a watch. There you go. Cool. All right, our next news topic, um, Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation, uh, one of their big franchises, is getting a movie. Mm -hmm. Um, It's coming out in 2015. I've never played Ratchet and Clank, um, but if I could ever get my PS3 to load a game, that's one I might look into playing because the the trailer actually made me laugh. So um, I might check it out. Have you guys ever played Ratchet and Clank? A little bit, a little bit, but I mean, it's one of those. It, I mean, that's one of their cornerstones, right? Yeah, I at, think so. At, at Sony, so I mean, that's it, it and it kind of makes sense. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of this from like Sly Cooper and stuff, like being mm. like, let's give him a Saturday morning cartoon. Like, it doesn't seem like, you know, I, I found myself at Marshalls the other day, and 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 I was just looking at like the Sonic toys, and it was like, even after all these years in the horrible games. <laughs> They were like the Sonic Air Rider RC toys, right? Oh, jeez. Um, but Sonic is still making Sega money. Plenty of yeah. money. Mm-hmm. It, with toys and stuff. And he's been well marketed, you know, despite, you know, the horrible cartoon and the bad video games. Most mm-hmm. people will still buy the old Sonic games and nostalgia is there. I think, why don't I, why isn't there a Crash Bandicoot outside of... You know, that's Universal Studios. It's their problem. But even Sony, I think that would help Sony with their branding. If they were mm-hmm. like, hey, uh, let's have a Ratchet and Clank movie, cartoon, something like that. Sly Cooper. What else do they have? Um, obviously, you know, got a word that, you know, maybe they'll do a movie yeah. or something. But more like the cartooning ones like that. I, I Why aren't there more? Are the Ratchet and Clank toys even? 
You know, it just no, feels like no, I don't think there is. It feels like there's a lot of missed opportunities here. Mm-hmm. You know, for for this, like I, I I don't know if these have these games have to be doing well because they keep freaking making more. Yeah, uh, Sega and Nintendo did it right, and it, even though they did a, a crappy job in you know doing stuff, mm-hmm. but we remember the Sonic crappy video or the the sloppy the the crappy. Uh, TV show they once had. We 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 watched Super Mario. We watched that Sunday show. show. <laughs> yes, we watched that, mm-hmm. and we mm-hmm. and I keep on watching it on on Netflix whenever it I does see not it. hold up. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not hold up. At it all. does not. And, and there but are toys. There are toys for Ratchet and Clank, mm-hmm. but I just feel like. Um, they don't market it as much. No, I, I feel like I feel like Ratchet and Clank should be bigger with the kids, you know. Well, and, and and they lost a big thing when they lost Spyro, uh, the Spyro exclusivity because Skylanders is everywhere now. Yeah, it, 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 that's that's amazing. You can't get away from Skylanders. Exactly. Um, I I just feel like they don't have good licensing people behind whatever they're doing at Sony. You know, and I guess Xbox is a little bit the same way too. Because what properties do they have? Uh, uh, Halo's big, but yeah. I wouldn't really call Halo like a multimedia success, yeah. like you would something like Spyro, something like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, like it, it's like that idea. You know, when you look at Disney, you know, and you know who's 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 you know. You know, they they looked at they looked at Disney and said, "Hey, none of our movies are, are are making new toys, figures, or characters in the park, but the Pixar guys are. You know, so now we need to look at them. You know, it, it, that I think I feel like like Sony, Microsoft need to look at. You know, okay, we're not." You know, they don't have, you know, something like an like amusement park. But, you know, they're like, we don't have a cartoon for this, that, and the other thing. But Nintendo and Sega are still making money off of this. And it's still in everybody, in the back of everybody's brain remembering Sonic and Mario all these years la- later, regardless if they're buying our stuff or not, you know. Uh, I just feel like there's something they could have done with that. And with with Disney and, Pix- and Pixar, they're going to get a whole bunch of, like, they're going to get a whole bunch of people who are doing, who are going to go to video games for Disney Infinite Infinity. Yeah, there's that with too. That, with those, with the Skylander like toys for, uh, is it is it just is it a standoffish video game console or video game thing, or is it for like the Wii or something? I think it's for. Uh, I, I, I think it's like for, PC or something. I thought, I but know. still that that. They're going to eat that up mm-hmm. because there's already that – there's still a group of kids who like that mm-hmm. and want to play that. Yeah. And it's, and it's actually the reverse of what we're talking about because they have the fan base with the movies, with the video – with the uh, the cartoons for cars and other things like that mm-hmm. and the toys and all that stuff. And they're putting it into a video game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, yeah, why can't, Disney's doing why the same can't thing. video games Their game. do the same? Mm-hmm. So, sure. Like Spyro, or not Spyro, uh, like Ratchet and Clank, or mm-hmm. Sky Cooper, mm-hmm. Sly Cooper, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, um, guys, the future yes, is Yes, Bobby. Here. The future is here. <laughs> we can now order Pizza Hut pizza off oh, of our Xbox. Oh, list. man. We can stay at home and get fat. Now, I gotta say, am I, yeah. hey, like everybody else has had the experience of buying uh, Pizza Hut through their like iPhone and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I, or iPhone or, or or on the computer or anything like that. Like that. I mean, this is pretty prominent, right? But the idea that I could just sit there and play video games. I, mean, I presume you bring up an app. Actually, here it is. Here it is a little bit. Um, so this was inevitable. <laughs> Really, oh, yeah, you knew it was coming. Apparently, and apparently, I think they said that if you you can have like it, so you can just order your last order through like Connect or something. That's, mm-hmm. That is a great reaction. That guy is very happy. <laughs> he's very happy about buying pizza. That is. Uh, I'm surprised Pizza I Hut think, is the first one to do this. Meanwhile, in Georgia, what the hell? <laughs> I think so. I think you get fifteen percent off your order too. Yeah, if you uh, the thing I saw was if you get your first order in before May sixth through the app, you will get fifteen percent off your first order. 
So let's go get a stack of uh, pizzas off of our Xbox. This idea that the Xbox has become this, like, media center. Uh, WrestleMania just had their first pay-per-view through the Xbox app, which was a horrendous failure because you couldn't get on the first 40 minutes. You can look at WrestleMania. I'm sure the last couple weeks for that discussion. Um, But the idea that that is available. UFC pay-per-views have been there for a while. Now I can order a pizza before my UFC pay-per-view. Oh, let me just load it up. You know, um... Uh, the Flickster is on there now, so my ultraviolet movies now will come over to there. Um, the Xbox is becoming more and more the one-stop place. It's getting like all the important apps like we talk about with cell phones. It's turning into your computer. It is. It is more and more. It is becoming that cornerstone of the living room, which I think then it will be interesting to see how would that conversion be to the new Xbox. <laughs> When we, okay. Will these services be like, yeah, they were here, so there's no reason for them not to be over here on the new Xbox. You mm-hmm. know, is it a conversion thing? Am I going to put the new Xbox down in the living room and I'll stick that one up in my, uh, you know, office, bedroom, whatever, to have the same functionality throughout my house? Or or, or what's going to go on? It is You know, that's where they're doing so good with this, Microsoft. Don't trip. Don't yeah. trip putting out a new box because you, you've made it, you know. And I don't think this thing would have done so well if it hadn't been out for the, what, eight years that it's been out. Yeah. So. Uh, the only other thing with the pizza, you cannot order it with uh, Xbox Live points. Good. <laughs> Microsoft points. I'm out then. Good. No. Good. No. You're, 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 you're on Xbox. You, ha- you download the points with your credit card. You should be able to use those. No. He's not wrong. Take my points for pizza. You Preach. should use those points. Uh, then they are get points. those things phased out as soon as possible. Come I on. mean, Grant, uh, I'm probably going to buy pizza mm-hmm. from Pizza Hut. <laughs> probably not Very soon. sooner. Very soon. <laughs> not not soon enough. But um, you should be able to. You should be able to use your points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird they didn't. Mm-hmm. All right. Guys, the Wii U is finally Wii. getting a version of a virtual console. Wii I can't believe they don't have one yet? They really? don't have one yet. How do and you not do this at launch? Oh, they have games at, at its launch. Yes. Oh. They should have done it at launch, I agree with you. But um, they announced the eight games that are coming out for it. Is, Here, is Zelda, okay, is Zelda okay. in there? Here's my other question. It, the, the, the games I bought on the virtual console in the first Wii, can they carry over? No. Why? Why would you do that? Because There's Nintendo no difference. Is greedy. That doesn't make any sense. They don't carry over from P- the the 3DS either. Well, okay, uh, but they should. They should. Really, they yeah, should. They... They're not. It's not like there's a. Comp- it's you're using an emulator, guys. Yeah. There's th- yeah. that's that's. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, I I I can. Okay, I'm sorry. We're living in a world. In a world where I can play Sonic <laughs> Hot the Hedgehog on this device and carry it over to this device without paying you again. And then order a pizza. And order a pizza <laughs> in the meantime. And you can't do that on a Wii yet. For your audio listeners, Sorg is holding his iPad in his... <laughs> iPhone that's right not hand. a Game Boy. Um, I, what? Nintendo is not living in the same world as these other devices is the problem. Yeah. And, they're... they're it's it's such a ham handed way to do everything, to do their internet stuff, to do to do whatever the freak they're doing with the virtual console across they're the miles board. behind Xbox and Playstations. I, it's kind hey, of sad. Hey Nintendo, welcome to two thousand five. Okay, <laughs> oh, well, the, welcome. The, here's the best part. Um, taking so long with the virtual console, you'd think they'd have games on there like. From Nintendo sixty four, oh, no, or no. or um, GameCube, something oh, no. like that. Bobby, don't don't. The eight You're games that sword. are coming out for the Virtual Console, the first eight. Here we go. <sighs> Balloon Fight, of course, for the Nintendo or the NES. Mm-hmm. Donkey Kong Junior. for the NES. That's okay. Excite Bike, for the NES. Ice Climber for the NES. <laughs> Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Uh, Kirby's Adventure. That's Punch Out for the NES. F Zero for the SNES. Now we're moving up in the world. 
and Super Mario World for the SNES. Ah! Those are the same games that they chose to launch the Why? virtual console. Why? You, you what? Anger sword. What? I can't <laughs> even play my Bonked Adventure? Nope. I can't play my Mario Kart 64? Oh, nope. God. I, why would you do this? Oh, what I mean, Excite Bike is a good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I'm not disputing the fact that they're they're, they're good games. No, or bad no, games. no, no, no. But but to start it's with a new console, put yeah. games on there that people want to play. And people then have don't want to play Excite Bike the on the Wii U. Consoles. There's just no concept of ecosystem here. There's no. There's no. I and then and every time they do it. Every time they do it, they make it like we have done you a favor. Here, you want, you here, want X bike. Here's your Mario World. Here's your Excite you bike. We got it. We, balloon we, fight. we made a big deal when we released this on 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 the <laughs> DSI uh, five years ago. Oh, look at this! You know, I mean, hey, Nintendo, you're not Disney that gets ex- hey, gets a hey. boner every time you release Cinderella on Blu-ray. Here's okay. Pong. <laughs> Enjoy Pong on the Wii U, guys. All right. Um, another thing. That they said about. Um, they said during Nintendo Direct press conference last week, Nintendo also revealed that titles including Super Metroid will be headed to the Wii U and Virtual Console, or the Wii U's Virtual Console, in addition to N64 games and Game Boy Advance games at a later date. At a um, later much date. later, we don't know. But much to the excitement of longtime fans, Nintendo also confirmed that Earthbound is coming to the Virtual Console this year, which is a big step because they said that game would never be released in, a, in a, the United States ever. So that, that's that's a good thing that Earthbound's actually coming out for the the Wii U's Virtual Console. About, about a Zelda game, is it a Zelda game coming out? No, they didn't announce any Zelda games. But Earthbound, Earthbound it is is a Mario a Kart lot, game. Coming a out? lot of people like Earthbound, and they don't have access to it other than an emulator. So I mean, that's a good thing. Is, is Mario I, Kart coming out for Virtual Console? Uh, they said N sixty four game, so maybe. <laughs> Like, I, I doubt uh, it for a while. About the one on the NES or SNES? Since that's uh, the that big wasn't thing in, they're doing. And the ones that was named. Uh, this is... But yeah. This is... I don't even know. No. Uh, <laughs> Which brings us to our boss this question. Is why? This I don't even <laughs> want to see this at this point. I don't even care um, anymore. <laughs> this week, uh, Nintendo unveiled some new commercials and new marketing campaign where they kidnap families and force them to play the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That is exactly what they did, too! That's have you seen gonna, these things? That's what they're going to have to do. I mean, they, they were like, I mean, there was, I, I watched, okay, did you watch the videos? No. Yes, I did. Okay, Bobby watched the videos. Did you see the one where, like, they have to explain, hey, I had no idea what this is like. You completely yeah. have to play this in order to realize this is actually a new concept. You know, that, that is actually lady. We upgraded and fun. got the Wii U. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. It was like, we got to upgrade. No, it's an upgrade? It's a new console, lady. No, it's a new con- No, Wait, it's an upgrade? You know. Now they're calling it an upgrade in the, in the ads. So, I mean. Because <sighs> they're so, but they don't know what an upgrade is. What is this? I love the article is entitled, uh, hold on, it's coming up here. They probably spelled upgrade with uh, two A's a lot. Uh, w... <laughs> Nintendo's oh, shit, upgrade. Nintendo's Wii U advertising reaches for the panic button. Was there? Was how they're taking this? <laughs> I, it's pretty. That's pretty much what it is. It, it, because they're, they're taking families, and they're trying to force them. Yeah, yeah they're trying to force people play video, video Here, games. Wear these primary color shirts and tell us how great this is. And, and then, like the little kids say, "This is the best game ever." And it wasn't like something crappy or something like that. It was like, yeah, it was. I don't know what video games are yet. Like, <laughs> are, it, 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 brought to you by the Van or whatever's, and uh, we're like we 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 went, you know, ethnically across the board on this yeah. thing. So good job, Nintendo. Uh, I, I but don't like know. somebody. Somebody said on on Twitter to you, they're all wearing T-shirts that are like Nintendo colored T-shirts. Yeah, like like they're all Nintendo character colors. Like Mario's red, Luigi's uh, green. Mm-hmm. You know, who's plaid? And here's that here's that last screen. Okay. Hold on, let me let me see if I can bring this up here. Uh, so yeah, learn why families are upgrading to Wii U. Oh shit, upgrade! <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Oh, so, what are you upgrading to from the a con the the, the Wii? Yeah, 
But if you're upgrading from an Xbox, you're not upgrading at all. Nintendo it's, and, and no, notice I'm I'm actually pointing to my Wii, and then I'm pointing to my Xbox. It's right not a 32x. That is an upgrade. <laughs> Well, at least this they're doing that not, right. This is an entirely new console. Like, at least they're doing that right. But then there's been other stories. Like, after years of missed opportunities, according to The Verge, Nintendo says its digital sales are soaring. So they're up a few percentage points. They're doing really good. Great. Now we're just going to destroy all that when we go to our next console. I and mean, you get Excite Bike. You get Well, we got Excite Bike, you know. It just... Uh, Oh, oh Excite my, Bike is oh, not I'm exciting sorry. enough to buy a new I'm console. I'm sorry, I have a Mario mind grain. Uh, it's, yeah. But still, the, the point is, they're not going to get me to buy a Wii U until one thing happens. What's that? Zelda. Yeah. Hey, you know what, though? You're getting Zelda over on the on the DS, 3DS. Yes, I know. And it's finally a sequel to Link to the Past. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah that was a huge that's good. That's great. But, but, uh, but it's not it's Wii U. Everything's like that's great, but I I want I don't want a 3DS. I want I, I have want 3DS. this. I don't I want this. You want? I don't. Yes. I, I don't want. Is that Skyward Sword? Yes, yeah, Skyward Sword. I haven't Sword. even played Skyward. I, I I haven't even opened Skyward Sword. I, it's it's a good Bought game. It. But I want I want more of this. I don't want to play it on my com- on a handheld more, console. More, more, unless, more, 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 more. Unless it's on my iPhone. Yeah, that's uh, Nintendo uh, one. Uh, yeah. Here's a suggestion for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, here is what you need to do. Uh, it's what I did, um, and it stops you from being hurt by Nintendo. I want you to close your eyes. Okay. But okay. I can't switch accurately. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to close your eyes. Oh, good. But everyone else does. Uh, close your eyes. Mm-hmm. I can't see. And, and I want you to remember the time um, around when Nintendo released the Wii. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, you got that mental image? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything was there good. There was so much promise. Right? Everything, I stayed in line all night. Right. In everything the cold was good. In December. Okay. Okay. I'm about to fall asleep. You're, you're happy, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Now, keep that image. I want to go I home and play you, Wii Sports. I want you to just go ahead and admit that Nintendo is dead. I'll admit it. Um, okay. I'll, I yeah. will admit it. Just, just keep it's, picturing it, the Wii, the Wii days, and forget the fact. That Nintendo released the system and it is making so many mistakes. Mm-hmm. So many mistakes. And every, everything is good. Everyone's happy. I'm you happy know, again. You know what the Wii U reminded me of? Mm. Mm. Dreamcast? Dreamcast. Yeah, they, it they, was they like the had everybody right? else in launch. It was a, oh, this is the it, one. It They're was, back. Or, They're yeah. back. Or wait, no, the Wii is like that. We've learned from the sins of our past. (laughs) And And now we're making all (laughs) new ones. Yes. So So just just remember the good days. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. So on that note. And and we're going to find out. We're going to find Microsoft buying Nintendo games for this. (laughs) <laughs> and then we're going to see, like... That would be awesome, actually. We're going to see... I really think, in the long run, uh, that company is too Japanese and proud to ever go the Sega route. So, yeah. Sony? Yeah. Mm, I don't even think I... No, can. they're Japanese, but I don't think Sony's proud. <laughs> iPhone, maybe? Nah, no. probably not. I, we'll so. see. We'll see. I, I think you'll be lucky and you'll, you'll see that. No, I don't think you'll ever see the iPhone with Nintendo no. because that's that's competing with, um, that's competing with uh, their handheld Some... directly. Directly, mm-hmm. they don't. They also haven't grown up to realize the handheld market has changed. Hey, um, who here has a 3DS? I do. One out of four of us have a 3DS. I have a DS that I don't play. That sits on my office. Who here screen. has an iPhone and an Android? I have an Android. Right. Four of us. And who's playing games on them? I have a 3D Android. 
Oh, yeah. No, it's not 3D. And see, so you have one out of four with a 3DS. And four, four out of four, four with a smartphone. Four. iPhone, Android, Google Play, whatever. Mm-hmm. And you're telling me that they don't see, that they, you think they are competition? They're too proud to admit it. They're too Japanese and proud to admit it, man. Bobby, take us home. Yeah. Oh, um, before we go, I think, uh, Chachi, I think you have a, a challenge for us this week. Yes, watch Noobs. Noobs? <laughs> it's on Netflix. Noobs. It's on um, Netflix, it's a, yeah. It's Gears it's... of War independent film based on clan video games. And includes who? Uh, Jason Mewes and a bunch of other newbies. Uh, Zelda Williams is in it. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of worth it alone. Wait, that's, uh, that's who that girl daughter. is? Yeah, that's who that girl Art is. McGregor. No way! Yeah, I, I know. Familiar. You, uh... You would you would never believe that that came from Robin Williams. I know. Does she get on screen like, oh hey, oh? No, no. no. Let's play video games, guys. Oh, <laughs> all right. On that terrible Robin Williams impression, uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take it home here. Mr. Um, Happy is sad. Uh, you can follow us on in, at Insert Coin TB. Um, you can visit the website at Insert Coin to Begin dot com uh, for Sorg, Chachi, Riz, and myself. That's game over. Nintendo.